set from story. Oh, your sister's really sweet. I think we DM'd a couple times, and then I don't. I think I didn't answer her. I there was a lot of people that I got kind of ghosted like six months ago because I didn't go on social media except to post stories. She was. She's so sweet though. Sincero. Rocky says she abandoned us. That's what everyone was saying. Like, Kapjagi, even like my closest friends, like friends that I go out to see or have dinner with, were like, you just ghosted us. I'm like, no, I didn't. There's too much bread. So you know there's two types of tiramisu. There's like really good tiramisu that's like all cream. Or actually, I mean, that's debatable. I guess depends on your personal preference, but I like tiramisu when it's like very little breading and a lot of cream. This one has too much bread. It's just bread. Where's all the cream? Are you you're gonna talk with her on the phone later? Are you guys not together right now? Wait, <laughs> just because you're always like in two different places, are you in Canada right now or are you in Korea? One day I'll call you here. Oh, we're together. Let's talk. Let's talk. Fuck! I just dropped it. It was cream too. Fuck! Why couldn't I drop the bread? Did you get a new place? Yeah, so when I used to do my lives last summer, I was in a dorm. My acting school's dorm. But my dorm, do you remember when there was like vending machines in the back? So I shared my dorm room with three other girls. So it was four of us. We had two bunk beds and there was four girls in one freaking dorm room. So I would go downstairs into like our kitchen, downstairs in the dorm where they had vending machines in the back and we had like a giant bar in a kitchen. I would do my lives down there, but I moved out because I'm not like, I, I've always lived by myself and I prefer like having my own personal space. I don't like walking into a room and then you know like out of respect, you have to address everyone that's in the room. So like every time I would come into the room, it's like, let's say I wanna be alone and I just want to like, I don't know, just be in a room alone and just like relax, but you can't do that. Like I have to walk in and I feel like I, it's like, it's not even my own safe, like safe space kind of thing. Like, no, we were close and the girls are, they were very sweet, like very, very sweet. And we respect each other's space, but just for me, like out of respect, I feel like every time I come in, I have to say like, hi, you know, how was your day? Uh, and then they just start asking me a bunch of questions like, yeah, we did this and we did this today. What about you? And what if it's like one of those days where I just don't even feel like talking, you know? But then I can't just be like, don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? So then I'll, we would have the conversation. It would go on for like 20, 30 minutes. And then I'll be like, okay, yeah, no, I'm going to like crawl and do my own thing. And then I'll put in like earbuds. But then I always felt like... And it's not anyone's fault. I feel like this is my own conscious, like, uh, issue I was having with my own conscious. I felt like it was really disrespectful for me to wear earbuds when we're in the same freaking room. One, I just don't want to disturb other people if I'm playing my own music. But two, like, if they were talking to me, there were so many times I had no idea they're talking to me because I had earbuds in. Like, I just needed my own place, so. Someone said it means you're an introvert at heart. There are times when I need my own, like, I'll be an extrovert when I'm outside and I get energy from being around people. But then like, let's say the entire day I've just been around people. Like, I need to 
when I go home and sleep, like I want to be alone, home alone and sleep. Because I know I'm going to wake up tomorrow and it's going to be like interactions with people all over again. So I need that time. But if you're coming home, home to a room with three other girls, it's not, it's not like, it's just like, yes, it probably is introvert at heart. Why do you have a sofa in the kitchen? Because my place is freaking small. <laughs> and I couldn't get rid of this couch. So <clears throat> back when I, before New York, when I had a different apartment, the apartment was much bigger and I got this couch, but this is a giant couch. It's like, it's a U-shaped couch. And I tried to sell it. No one wants to buy it for the amount that I bought it for. Like it's still in very good condition and it, it, the quality is very nice. I'm not, I can't get rid of it just because like it's actually a nice couch like I didn't just get it off a random site which I should have I should have just bought like a cheap ass couch you know what I'm saying like if I'm gonna move around a lot I should have just got a cheap couch but I actually invested money into a nice couch and I don't know why I did that back then I was just like I want a nice couch and now this couch is my burden because every time I move I can't get rid of it I'm like I spent too much money on this shit like I just can't get rid of it. Like honestly, I should have went on Wayfair and just got a decent, decent couch. It didn't have to be nice. Like I don't know why I did that, but now I can't get rid of it. It's like stuck with me forever. So I moved into this place. This place is is nice and, and the interior is nice, but it's very small. Like it's very, very tiny. So I have this couch in the kitchen. <laughs> There's nowhere else to put it. And I just can't get rid of it. Are you talking about this? This is an Adam's apple. Do you guys even know what you're talking about? Buddha through duck. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna dye my hair because. I don't have gloves and you know how like kits they usually come with the gloves inside I opened this already and I checked this just because I want to see what was inside there's no gloves inside someone said it can't be an Adam's apple since only guys have that females don't so I know what you guys are talking about and I used to when I I used to like also wonder about this it's the shape of my neck so it's it's your vocal box this is not an Adam's apple so if I'm like this so my vocal box is very prominent and everyone has this it's just I think due to my